Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using this Dollar Tree candy jar and this little hat I got at a local thrift shop. I took the candy jar from Dollar Tree and painted it with hazelnut chalk paint by Waverly. And I like to use this sponge brush to paint on plastic. It just spreads out better and covers better than a paintbrush. So I covered the entire jar and lid with two coats. Once the jar was completely dry, I took acrylic paint pens and drew on the face. So for the eyes, I'd used a black acrylic paint pen and drew some teardrop shapes and then filled them in with the paint pen. And then I also used the black paint pen to draw on the mouth. So it's just like a squiggly line and then lines on the ends and then just a bunch of lines throughout the mouth to make it look like stitching. Tried those and then used an orange acrylic paint pen and drew like a rounded triangle for the nose. And then again, filling it in with the same paint pen. Once the nose was completely dry, I took the black paint pen again and drew lines around the nose to make that look like stitching as well. Took a white acrylic paint pen and pushed it down on the tops of the eyes just to give those white dots and then drew white lines at the bottom of the eyes and then made sure that was completely dry. Next, I took some raffia, which this color I got from Amazon, and just kind of put a bunch of it together and then used a couple strips of raffia to make a couple little knots on there and then cut that in the center between those little knots I made. Pulled apart the raffia to make it look a little bit more messy. And then I took the lid to the candy jar and hot glued around the rim and then glued it inside my little straw hat, which I did get at a thrift store, but I looked and they do have them on Amazon. It's like a straw hat for dolls. And then I took my raffia and hot glued some of that to the hat right underneath where it attaches to the lid, making sure that it's going to be where I want it on the face. And then I just added a few more strips of raffia in between those little bunches so it'll look like it'll be coming towards the face as well. Once I had all the raffia glued on, I placed down the hat and trimmed up the raffia on the face. And that is it. I would just suggest to make sure that you fill the candy jar with something if it's just decorative because the hat does make it a little top heavy and it will tip over. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching.